Howdy, everyone. All right, I'll make this kind of quick if I can. I'm getting low on battery power here. So this is the back of the cargo area that I'm working on now. And this particular piece, it comes pre-punched along the bottom and up the sides. So the um, nut plates have already been installed across the bottom on the uh, floor panels that you see here and along the uh, back of the uh, this four or this six six oh four bulkhead, whatever bulkhead this is, the nut plates across the bottom have already were already installed. So at this point, with the panel being pre-punched, all you need to do is clico it along the bottom, and then the holes along the top are already pre-punched in this as well. So you just transfer those holes up both sides. Once that's done you can drill the bulkhead itself. Once the bulkhead itself is drilled, you can go ahead and put these nut plates in place, the nut plates that run up and down the sides. And I do have a, a video coming up, I believe, that will show you that. Um, or actually, you've probably already watched it. I think that video comes first. But now that all the nut plates are on, this piece, can be clicoed in place. So you've also got a couple of pre-punched holes in the center you have to match drill. Once that's done and the nut plates are put on, you can clico this in place and start working on the top half. Now the top half is a little bit more involved. That's what I'm working on now. So here's the top. And what I wanted to kind of talk about is cutting this radius on the corners. Now the instructions give you directions and don't quote me on the measurements, but you basically come from the end of the panel over eight, eight and a half inches. And then from the bottom of the panel, you come up, I believe it's two and an eighth inch and you make your reference mark. That is your pivot point for your radius, which is eight and a half inches. Since you've come up from the bottom here, two and an eighth inch, you want that same dimension out here on the edge. So at the edge of the piece, mark another two and an eighth inch. That's gonna be where your curve either begins or ends. At the top, your eight and a half inches that you that you came over from the edge, you want to also have a mark at the top that would be eight and a half inches from the edge, assuming that this hasn't been cut yet. This piece comes already cut to size, it's just square, and you have to take this corner off. So from this corner, you would also measure over eight and a half inches and make a line. So again, this line here and this line here just represents where the curve begins and ends. So across the top, you want this straight till you get to this point, then your curve begins. And then at this bottom edge from the bottom up to this point, you also want that to be straight. And at that point, that's where your curve begins. So once you have your marks in place, you come over to your pivot point. That's what you pivot off of. And you come across, you start at this mark here, and you just draw your arc until you get to this point here. And that gives you a nice curve. And it also makes sure that this curve matches this curve. So without these reference lines, like I said, this, this is where it needs to be straight and then it starts to curve. And then this is where this, it needs to be straight up to this point and then it starts to curve. Without these reference lines, this curve may end up coming over into here a little too far or maybe it stops a little too short. Same with the bottom. Maybe the, the curve would inadvertently come down too low or maybe it would stop a little too short so like if this curve came down and stopped too short and then on your other side in that same area this it ended up 
being a little too long, this corner would not look the same as this corner. And when you have the entire panel up in your airplane, you probably would see that, that, hey, this corner looks totally different than this one. Or perhaps you would just look at it from a distance and think, you know, something just doesn't look right, but I can't put my finger on it. Doing it this way will help prevent that. So now you've got your two corners cut and they're, they're the same. They match. They're symmetrical. Then you start working on these areas here that are cutouts for your uh, um, seatbelt harness cables to pass through. Now, like I said, this piece comes already cut to size and it also came with this bend in it. This is the bottom of the piece. This little kick is so when you overlap this piece over top of the existing piece that I just showed you on the airplane, you'll get a nice fit. So this is the bottom edge. Make sure you cut the corners off of the top edge. You don't want to cut the corners on this edge here, which has already got this kick in it. These dimensions and, and the procedure for cutting this out all came directly from the plans. The only thing that I did different, the holes for the nut plates, I moved them off of this edge a little bit further than what the plans tell you. With the putting these holes in the same locations as per the plans, it puts the hole very, very close to the bend that is already provided here, which I didn't like. So I moved that up a little bit. That was it. At this point, I take this piece, which I've already done, and I brought it over and I fit it in place on the airplane. It overlaps this piece. All you need to make sure is when you look at the plans, you make a reference mark for your overlap. So I've got a mark here. I've got a matching mark over at that side. I put the panel on and I line the bottom edge of the panel in line with these lines here and then I taped it in place to hold it. Now the other thing that you can do, which I did, just to check, your fuselage should be leveled side to side. So what I had done when I made these marks, I made a measurement as per the plans, this is 5 8 I made a measurement to get my 5 8 and I put a mark. I did the same thing on that side. And then using a small level, let me find it. Where did it go? Stand by. There we go. Using a little level, I just put my level on the little mark that I had made. And then I level the level according to the bubble. Once the level was level, I went ahead and made this nice long mark here. And then I did the same thing on the other side. I made a little tick mark at the 5 8 inch put my level on the tick mark, leveled it, and then made a longer line. So with the fuselage being level and your bubble level reading level, that line here and here, five-eighths of an inch down as per the plans, that is a nice and straight reference mark. When I bring the top panel over here, I line the bottom of that panel even with this line here and with the line on that side. So now I know it's plumb and straight with this panel. And since it's already cut to size, you just line up the edge of this panel here with the edge of this panel here. Both edges, you get your panel even on the edges and get the bottom lined up with your reference line here and then tape it. Once it's taped and you're happy with it, and then you can transfer these holes here from this panel onto that panel, which is what I'm working on now. Once the holes are transferred, then you can drill them on this panel. You can see I've already got them marked. I've got the whole holes marked here. So I'm going to take this panel off and I'll drill these holes and then I can come back, Clico this in place like you see it. And then I can Clico the top panel to this panel using these existing holes. Then it's just a matter of transferring 
like I had done and the video that I had made for these Clico or for these nut plates, you follow that same procedure using a, 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 a flat head countersunk screw. You put your nut plates in these locations and then use the ears of the nut plates as a drilled template to mark the holes. So this will go in place. The top piece will get clecoed in place through here. And then one at a time, I'll locate the nut plates and drill for the uh, attaching uh, rivets. So that's what I'm working on next. I know that's a long-winded, drawn-out explanation, but uh, I just want to make sure I cover everything and um, hopefully help you enough that, uh, that you understand what it is I'm trying to talk about. So let me get cracking on some stuff, and I'll talk to you later.